Welcome to a supplemental executive interview for Module 5. This interview provides a context for the entire capstone course. You will learn about consulting practices from a member of a consulting firm specializing in business intelligence and enterprise data management engagements. Okay. Let me welcome Matt Caton, BI and Analytics Lead at Data Source Consulting in Denver, Colorado, USA. Data Source Consulting focuses on strategic and implementation services with expertise in data architecture, data integration, data quality, data governance, analytics, and master data management. The firm is experienced in a wide range of industries, including healthcare, manufacturing, retail, energy, financial services, utilities, and government. Matt, please tell the learners a little bit about your background, your business background, and your experience at Data Source Consulting. Thanks, Michael. I am um, behind Analytics Practice Lead, and I've been in the consulting business now for about 15 years. I got my undergraduate degree from Indiana University's Kelly School of Business, where I specialized in computer information systems. Uh, back, back in 2000, I graduated, and um, I started to get some experience in consulting within business intelligence early on um, as a data tester, um, doing a lot of data analytics, um, working for a consulting company named Braun Consulting at the time, and then really started to get my feet wet with um, report development, enterprise reporting, using enterprise grade tools like Business Objects and Cognos, um, really came up as a report developer, gathering requirements and, and building reports for our clients, um, basically as a developer, really getting into programming and customizing front-end tools um, for our, our clients and our consumers. 2004 to 2006, I went back for an MBA at CU Boulder. Um, really wanted to get into entrepreneurship and learn about maybe starting a business on my own. Came out of school um, and did a little bit of independent contracting. And then I took a project with the managing partner of Data Source, Steve Dine, and we put together um, from the ground up a greenfield data warehouse for our clients, and, or for our client at the time, a large merchant processing firm. And he did a great job really stacking the deck with um, a very strong data architect, very strong ETL developers. And it was, it was just an, an excellent experience to really see um, how valuable it was for our, our client at the time to get this warehouse and to really realize the return on that investment. We were able to, about three months after delivery, they were able to spot um, some of their customers that they were spending a lot of money on that were you know, not producing for them. So they were able to really turn the corner. And um, so that was such a great experience that Steve asked me to join the company, and Steve being the first employee, I was actually the second employee to the firm. And so fast forward 2006 to 2015, um, I went through a lot of BI architecture, uh, a lot of BI administration, um, server-side administration, standing up um, you know, multi-server architectures for our clients with enterprise-grade BI tools um, as really the front end of data warehouses that we had put together. Um, our, our core competency kind of out of the gate was within ETL and, and data integration. We've noticed just such a need throughout the marketplace for companies really to bring data together, to conform that data, to put business rules around that data. And really one of the main challenges we continue to see is around um, departmentalized solutions, a lot of siloed solutions within different departments and different departments having different definitions for different data. So, um, you know, for the same terms, people are coming up with um, different answers to the same questions. So um, the whole goal behind what we do within enterprise data management is that conformity and really you know, putting that metadata management, that master data management in the hands of the business so they can really start to master their data and conform that and come up with, you know, the same answers to the same questions. And there's really, 
endless needs throughout the market with mergers and acquisitions and um, just as, as companies get bigger and bigger it just continues to be a challenge so um, we've continued to grow and really blossomed from you know coming in and doing tactical solutions to coming in and helping at a, a, a higher level within trying to really promote BI programs to get them um, and really into that inter enterprise data management space and, and really start to, to master the data that they collect as, as there are just so many different sources available. Now let's focus on sort of the typical consulting engagement involving business intelligence and maybe perhaps data integration. What types of skills does your team bring to a client and what type of skills are sort of in, that you think are in more short supply? One of the main skills, and it's, and it's a fairly basic skill if, if you study business intelligence and data modeling and data architecture, um, but from a relational perspective, um, one of those main skill sets is just having the ability to write SQL, to understand SQL. Um, structured query language is really at the core of what most of our developers you know, have to be able to do. And whether that developer is an ETL developer or a BI front-end developer or a data modeler or a data architect, um, it's really the language we speak when it comes to relational data warehousing. So that, that is very fundamental. Um, another real key skill in the consulting business is it's that likability. It's that, uh, it's, it's that skill of walking into a new engagement and presenting yourself and, um, you know, bringing yourself down, not down to the business's level, but being able to speak their language and, and not throw a bunch of acronyms around. And um, you, you just really have to be able to, to talk that same language. And so you've got to be able to learn very quickly, learn about new, new businesses and new environments very quickly so that um, you can understand where there's challenges reside and then you can help pinpoint problems. So there's a softer side of consulting that is often overlooked that we find, and um, you know we really we push our our consultants to to really focus on um, that human aspect to get to know their users and to understand what their needs are, and and we found that you know the closer you get to your business community to the end users of that system, the more that you work in conjunction with those folks, um, the more success that you're going to have, and and the solution is always going to be a lot more well received when it's something that, you, that you've built as a team together. And um, it kind of goes back to the whole agile methodology that, that's really taken shape in the last you know, five to ten years and that you want to deliver solutions a little bit faster so that people aren't waiting at the end for a big bang solution. You want to get, get produce results very quickly and do that litmus test and see, you know, how well received it is, if there's any issues, so it allows you to get in front of problems a lot quicker. Uh, thanks for talking about a typical engagement and the skills your team brings to an engagement. Can you provide some lessons, uh, especially lessons to learners who might be interested in getting into a, a BI consulting? Indeed. Um, as a consultant, you're really brought in as that expert, so you really have to master your trade. Um, you have to have a good understanding of the marketplace, the tools that are available um, in such a, a, a fast-moving arena. Um, there, if, if you take a look and you do a little research on enterprise reporting tools and BI and analytics applications, you'll find there is just so many to pick from. Um, you kind of bubble that up and you notice that at the top of the food chain, there's there's really four or five main players in the what I like to call the traditional enterprise reporting space, and those are tools like IBM Cognos and and Business Objects and MicroStrategy, um, information builders, tools that really require a, a pretty large server side footprint, and that. Um, you know, when you put those infrastructures in place, they demand you know a database server backend, a web-based server for the the presentation layer, and then an application server that does a lot of the processing. So that's that's really the class of tools that that um, a lot of the bigger corporations gravitate to because they can serve such a large community of folks. Um, over the last probably five to ten years, another suite of tools that that's been very prevalent and really. Um, 
really making a splash is are the advanced analytic tools like like the tableaus and the click views the the ones that are a lot quicker to stand up and they allow folks to just immediately get into their data and ask questions and get results so when you really differentiate those tools two tool sets um, one major challenge that you find is that the newer class of tools it causes a lot of disruption um, when you when you look into um, what a lot of folks within the finance arena accounting arena marketing uh, a lot of folks that are very savvy with data and numbers they really gravitate toward Excel Microsoft Excel because it's just so easy to use um, but that in itself presents a number of challenges when you're trying to master um, data and data definitions and conformity and, and get away from spread marts and those solutions where business rules get captured in these spreadsheets and they don't get shared. So, um, not to say that you shouldn't use a tool like Tableau, but you need to really be very cautious about how you present it to folks and you've got to put a lot of governance around a tool like Tableau if you really want to realize the benefits. Um, so, you know, you, you want to enable consumption and you want to get people to really get their hands dirty, but you also, you don't want to continue to have those departmentalized solutions. And the best way to get in front of that is, is with data governance and a BI program strategy that, you know, it brings everybody together on a, on a common page. I want to thank Matt Caton for sharing his consulting experiences at Data Source Consulting. You can find some brief supplemental slides about this interview in the class website.